having fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this town isn't like Children of the Corn or anything, is it? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm sure. I don't know. Though. Supposedly lots of people go there. Some kind of weird event. I don't know. You guys know anything about it? You don't know. What would you say if we told you that they sacrificed a human in effigy and mock to a 40-foot stone owl in black and red and silver cloaks? Sounds kind of different. Do you think it's good to have? Bull talks now. <laughs> do you think it's good to have so so-called world leaders secretly engaging in pagan activities? Uh, I can't say it's that great. No. Why would you have a problem with that? Well, I don't know. It could be all right. Depends how you look at it. The kind of relativist worldview, huh? Yeah. You got to sacrifice care to the winds, huh? Yeah. I don't know. It could just be for fun, or it could really be weird. They run around naked. Run around out. naked and freak out. There you go. Have you heard that? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, to tell you the truth, here's a funny story. What about Okay, go ahead. No, 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 this is the truth. A couple years ago, I was down the road, <laughs> just down Yard, past Camp Meeker, and I was stopped with a friend of mine. Now, Camp Meeker's right outside Bohemian Grove. <coughs> That's an affirmative. Yes. And we were, uh, we were down the road, and uh, we, had, we, we were stopped there uh, because we were just having a cigarette, hanging out, um, taking a break, and uh, some Secret Service men actually pulled up behind us and asked us what we were doing and why we were there. It was true. And they were like, what, what are you guys doing? Where are you at? Why are you parked here? What's going on? and asked us a whole bunch of questions, oh, what our names were, who we were affiliated with, where we lived, all kinds of stuff. Sort of interrogated us. Did you answer their questions? Totally. I don't know, we always hear there's like big, fat, rich guys with prostitutes there. Really? Yeah. What about, about the what about the owl and the rituals? Uh, I don't know anything about it. Never heard about the rituals? Rituals. Uh, Ritual of killing of a human sacrifice of a human? Nope. Never heard what of it. What would you think if that was going on? I think it was pretty weird. Wouldn't be that surprised. I mean, it is our government after all. Hey, thanks for talking to us, bud. Yo. Hey, I like your shirt. Declaration of Independence. Yeah. All right, man. Take care. <laughs> all right. We're talking about the Bohemian Grove and trying to see what locals think about it and how it's all secret and all these fat cats there and the supposed strange rituals that go on. Are you a local? No, but she is. What do you think about the Bohemian Grove? Uh, well, um, I don't know what they call it. See, uh, it, it offers a lot of employment. It offers a lot of employment? Mm -hmm. What's going on there? What kind of rituals do they do there? I don't know. We're talking to locals about what the rumors are. What are the rumors? About a big 40-foot stone owl and simulated human sacrifice. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, but there, it's, it's politicians that come that, uh, that vacation there. And It'd be really weird if politicians right? were, were acting like they were sacrificing people, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. No, you, can tr you can't trust politicians, you know. Oh, really? They might be doing it, huh? Yeah, they might, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> the politicians, you know. I hear you, bud. Hey, good talking to you. <laughs> right. Appreciate it. You guys take care. Good luck. Hey, those, are those are some pretty flowers. Yeah, those are sweet peas. Those are real, folks. Peas. Yeah, they're real. Uh, <laughs> you guys have a good, good one. You do. Yeah? Yeah, I'm this area is in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we are. We it's are. in big trouble. No, this is a wonderful area of the country. We're just asking locals uh, what they think of the Bohemian Grove. The Bohemian Grove is a wonderful place. Have you been there? Yeah, I've been in there a bunch of times. <laughs> What did you do, work there? Or Worked you... there, yeah. Yeah. Cause you know when it's no, the most wonderfulest time? Mm. Is when nobody's there. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful area? Yeah, yeah, very beautiful. Uh, it's what, got big trees. Have you ever been there for the cremation but of care? You, no. So you've never been there for the rituals? No. You ever heard about them? Yes. What have you heard they do, sir? Nothing. they got that tree that looks like an owl. Tree that looks like an owl? Tree or rock, or it's, it's a carving or... It's where the stage is. But have you heard what they do during that? During that? No, I have no idea what they do. During what would that. you say if we told you they they burn a human being in effigy? They don't really do it. They burn it in effigy. For, I don't know what that means. Well, they have like a dummy that looks like a person under a black blanket. Huh? They take it up there and burn it. Oh, I don't know. Pretty weird. Huh? Pretty weird. Yeah, I've never seen that. How long you lived around here? Uh, I don't know. I'm how old am I? Twenty. Forty years. Yeah. Really? Oh, your whole life. Yes. What's your name, sir? My name is Raul. The lizards? Yeah, this is vital. 
How long has Vile Roots been here? A couple years. A couple years? Yeah. The Bohemian Grove? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of politicians, a lot of big wigs making a lot of big decisions. Oh, really? Do you think it's good that they get together in secret and make all these so-called decisions? Do I think it's good? Yeah. No, of course not. Do you? What about the rituals? Have you heard anything about the rituals that go on? Oh. There? Well, there's all kinds of rumors about rituals that go on there. What type of uh, rumors have you heard? I oh, don't make me go there. <laughs> Please, come on. We're trying to talk to some locals. I'm just uh -huh. wondering. It's interesting. Well, I I really don't know that much about it. You know, I've just what I've read in books. There's books out about it. Oh, you've I've read had, books on it, huh? I had a book that was published in 1956 that was written about some of the rituals. Because now it's been going on for 120 plus yeah. years. Yeah. I think they said they just had their 120th something anniversary. Yeah. What would you say if I told you that there's a 40 foot stone owl and that they burn a human being in effigy, not in real life, but in I effigy? I wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it? Nah. I think it's a bunch of garbage. So you doubt there's a stone owl and you doubt that they... Well, I wouldn't doubt there's a stone owl. Maybe there's a stone owl, but I wouldn't think that that's kind of... You know, rumors just... It's rumors. You know, what, the, if, rumor, what the word implies, pretty much. Just a conspiracy. Yeah, it's just a bunch of hearsay. Pure conspiracy theory. Good. Whatever. Um, what have you heard about the Bohemian Grove? It's where um, all of the... like. FBI and um, you're talking about the Bohemian Grove. Yeah, yeah um, it's like the uh, um, quote unquote elite and uh, presidential retreat. Have you heard about the rituals that go on there? No, I haven't. Uh, well, the uh, the people who have more money than the rest of us in the world are um, a bit different. They're stingy. They want to hoard it all for themselves. And they think they're gonna go to heaven they're not because they don't know how to provide or do as Jesus told them to what would you say if I told you that they sacrifice a human in effigy before a giant 45 to 50 foot stone owl I would say that's probably why they're going to hell This Australian we met yesterday, he's been here for three years, and he says that about two, three months ago, the whole place was saturated with men in black, FBI, Secret Service, and everything, going up and down the roads, checking everything, checking houses, everything for bombs and stuff, and then they all disappeared, and they were looking out for undesirables in the area who were persuaded to go. That was his story. And now we're going to talk to him. And now, and now we're going to infiltrate. Um, I think we should go and see what we can see. The, the public has a right to know. They do. The public may, right, may have a right to know, but the people in this cafe, I think, shouldn't, shouldn't know. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to go in up the, the road that says no through road, because we've got to sit in the car and get a shot of you going up the road. So you've got to go in. You've got to be the guinea pig. But you're a brave man, Alex, aren't you? I'd say, no so. problem, yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. I wouldn't ask I wouldn't ask a man who wasn't as brave as you. All right, it's no big deal. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna go in and uh, make sure everything goes good. Mm -hmm. My only concern is figuring out the right type of baggage to carry this in. I'll show still shot camera. Well, I personally would recommend that you um, wired yourself up with your um, with your. Um, What's it called? Hidden camera. Yeah, your hidden camera that, that's in the shape of a pager. Problem is, we got some stuff on last night. We checked it out, but it's very unwieldy. Not trustworthy. Right. I can just get in the woods with this. It's over. Mm, that's true. And even if I... See, I, I, I'm going early now. I'm probably going about 3.30 with Mike. I'm just hanging out inside. In case they throw me out, I'm, I'm still getting back in the property. Oh, so you're going you're gonna to go in way before Rick gets here? Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, cool. Well, we'll just sit in the car. But, but I mean, you, you understand why? Not because I want to hang out in there all day. It's because I've got to get in. Because if they catch me, I'm gonna got to sneak back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will not be stopped. <laughs> you know, I went to um, I went with uh, Big Jim Tucker from the Spotlight to uh, a Bilderberg meeting last year. 
but that was my first time and we, we got chased away by men in men in dark glasses and you know I was a bit scared then but I feel safe with you Alex <laughs> well Tucker's a good rider oh yeah I like Tucker It was the night of July 15, 2000. Mike Hansen and I were about to attempt the first ever successful infiltration of the Bohemian Grove. Others have tried and failed. No one has ever actually made an 